Hi, hey, Grammy. Back for some more Settle Course and Miles today. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And you can see by the title, this one is not too complicated. Today we got Apple CarPlay in a Settle Corsa. As y'all might know, most of the cars in a Settle Corsa already use Android Auto. But me personally, I don't have any Android devices in my life. So I don't like the way that looks. I was looking for Apple CarPlay and I found it. So we're gonna teach y'all how to install Apple CarPlay in a Settle Corsa today. And this one is better in my opinion than a lot of the other ones because it's not per car. You can just install this in a Subtle Corsa and it's for every car. It's basically a reskin and giving you some more apps. So leave a like down below. I'm gonna leave the links in the description down below. I don't know whose mod this is. I tried to find the author. I like to give credit to the mod authors in a Subtle Corsa. Everybody deserves their credit, right? So if you guys know whose mod this is, Leave it down in the comments below. But once you download one of the files, there's gonna be a light and a dark skin. Originally, I was using a dark one, but if you come here, if you have a set of course, so you should have seven zip already. We're gonna right click seven zip, open archive, and it'll pop up in seven zip. And you just follow the path like any other a set of course of mods. So a set of course of extension, LUA, cars, and then you can see here it's named Android Auto. That's for it to work in the game, and then you need to make sure you have Android Auto turned on in your settings. But you need to find your Assetto Corsa root folder. Like I said, every video, if you guys don't know how to do that, just go to your settings, content manager, general, click open. Then it'll open your Assetto Corsa root folder. So we'll follow that same path that we have over here. Assetto Corsa extension, LUA cars, Assetto Corsa extension, LUA cars, you can see we have Android Auto here, and there's only one folder. It's gonna ask you, do you wanna replace? Yes. If you want the regular Android Auto back, which I don't know why you would, I know you have an iPhone, leave a like. I know you have an iPhone. But if you want the regular Android Auto back, you just gotta download the file and do it the same way, replace it back to Android Auto. And that's pretty much it. So we'll show you what the light mode looks like in the game now. But there is some settings that you wanna tweak. So go to settings, custom shaders patch, and come down to car instruments and everything i have here you don't want the led panel a lot of you guys should have this set already but you don't want it to be blinking so use this setting right here and then come down to the bottom where it says music and you want to enable all of this so you can control your music that you're playing on your computer through the apple music in the car in this set of courses you no longer have to go back to your browser or go to your music player you can just do it through the car in this set of Corsa. It's kind of fire in my opinion. So when you finally do get into a game, you can use this in any game mode, by the way. If it's not working, one, the car should have a screen. Two, you need a newer version of CSP. I'm on 2.12 preview one right now. Just update your CSP. If YouTube is not working for you, also update your CSP. Everything in here should be working but you can use F6 to change your camera view. And on this car, we can go right here into reverse, come back to the screen, and we can scroll up, scroll down. You can add apps in here. I don't know how to do that yet. I'll leave it down in the description if I figure it out. But every apps in here work. You can use the clock. You can do timers. Every app in here works. It's like real Apple CarPlay. You can have photos if you take the photos from the game. The most important one is the map to me because this map is actually the map of the game. This Google map is actually the map of the game. You can look around it as far as you want, but this is SRP right here. And if you wanna go back to yourself, you use it just like a real map and you can change it to do the Google view. So when you drive, the map will actually show you that you're on the SRP highway and everything going above is not that accurate, but you'll remain on the SRP highway. It doesn't do bridges or tunnels. I think that's the problem. And we figured that out pretty quick. If you go to music, this depends on what version of CSP you have. And I guess if it's your lucky day, but you can see it controlling the music that I'm playing on my PC. But sometimes it doesn't pop up here. That's just a little quirk to it. But you guys probably didn't know that you could turn on the radio in a subtle Corsa and just pick a station. It'll play, you can turn up the volume on the right. 
and scroll through it on the left. A better view is always F6 for this. But yeah, all the apps work in here. YouTube works, everything works. You should be connected to the internet. You can Google stuff. If you wanna just, I know a friend, I got a friend who likes to do this all the time. Just drive around watching the back camera. <laughs> Leave a like for me, man. We're gonna leave some gameplay with YouTube and the map so you guys can see how it all works. Appreciate y'all, man. I'll see y'all next video. We don't change, but the will spring strength is how strong your will is bouncing back to the middle when you're driving a car, when you're making a turn. It automatically wants to straighten out. That's just how a car works. We use this on 95. If you want it to feel smooth, you can tweak this or just copy.